Hello, good day, and welcome to Encouragement and Prayer Ministry. I want to thank you for watching the video, sharing the video with your family and your friends, so together we can be an encouragement to others, and together we can share the gospel. I'm going to be reading from Psalm chapter 37, verses 1 to 6. Do not fret because of evildoers. Be not envious toward wrongdoers. For they will wither quickly like the grass, and fade like the green earth. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and cultivate faithfulness. Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in Him, and He will do it. He will bring forth your righteousness as the light, and your judgment as the noon day. Let's look at the word threat. The Hebrew word for fret is karah. It means to glow or grow warm, to blaze of jealousy. We often think of the, the word fret as to worry. We are not to worry about sin that others are committing. Here it means not to be jealous of their sin. Righteous are not to be jealous of the wickedness of those who are wicked and do evil. There are two types of people. The wicked who plot against the righteous and pre prepare to pre kill and destroy are the righteous and the wicked, they have no shame. The wicked borrow and do not repay. The wicked will perish and fade away. They will be cut off from the Lord our God. The other type of person is the righteous. Those who have trusted in the Lord, those who fear the Lord, knowing the Lord has the power to kill both the body and the soul. They believe Jesus has died and rose for them, that he rose from the grave. They have confessed that they have sinned against God, and they have asked for forgiveness. They want to turn away from evil and turn to God to sin no more. The righteous, they the like. The Hebrew word used was anan, a luxurious, delicate, and generally pleasant in the Lord. A righteous person should have general pleasant for their Savior and for the Lord. The righteous will have rest. They will wait patiently. The righteous will not be anxious for anything. They will be content in what the Lord provides. And the righteous will receive an inheritance. Let's look at Romans chapter 8, verse 17. And of children, heirs also, heirs of God, and fellow heirs with Christ, if indeed we suffer with him, so that we may also be glorified with him. The righteous will have an inheritance. Our inheritance will be forever. And the righteous are saved. They're saved from the penalty of death, and they'll be saved, saved from the wrath of God, which is to come. I have just one question. Why would you want to be one of the wicked? For the righteous receives greater things from the Lord that last forever. Let's look back at Psalm 37, verse 27. Depart from evil and do good. So you will abide forever. Trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Today, believe, confess, ask forgiveness, and repent of evil and turn to God. Lord Father, I ask that this message is be, to be heard by many, that those that hear it that do not know you as Lord and Savior, they will accept you today. They will believe that Jesus Christ died for their sins and rose from the grave. That they will confess that they have sinned against you and ask for forgiveness and repent from evil and turn to you. And for the believers that have accepted Jesus Christ, that are still living in sin, they have not turned away from that this message 
will touch their heart and that they will begin a life of repentance, rejecting evil, turning to you to live a life that they are supposed to live, a life that is pure and sinless. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. If you've never accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and you believe that Jesus is the Son of God who died for your sins and rose from the grave, today you can ask for forgiveness, confessing that you're a sinner, sin against God. I ask you to repeat after me as I pray. Heavenly Father, I acknowledge that the separation between us is because of my sin. I confess that I have sinned and fallen far short of your glory. I thank you that you sent your son, Jesus, to pay the penalty for my sin. I believe that he died on the cross for me. I believe that you raised him from the dead. I am sorry for my sin and I ask you to forgive and cleanse me. I want to turn away from everything the Bible calls sin and receive Jesus as my Lord, Master, and Savior. Help me to love, serve, and obey you for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Now that if you prayed that prayer, honestly and sincerely, believing that Jesus is the Son of God, and you confess your sins and ask for the forgiveness, Jesus, has now come into you. You are now one with the Lord. I want to encourage you to continue your growth. Begin a habit of praying to your Heavenly Father and ask Him what's the desires of your heart and to lead you to live the life that you're supposed to live and to read the Bible, asking for God to reveal to you what you need to know what you want to know out of his word. So you would live the life that you're supposed to live that is pure, holy, and sinless. Part of growing in your faith as a believer is to have fellowship with other believers. I want to invite you to attend Services at Victory Subic every Sunday at 10 a.m. and again at 4 p.m. We're located on Natural Highway in Subic, Zimbabwe. Glad to see you there. You're welcome to be part of the family. 